Hey, we're in the middle of an epic giveaway. Make sure you've entered. From time to time, a product comes along and you wonder why no one else thought of this before. Magnetic filter system from Breakthrough Photography. So he's got the filter holder and it screws on to your lens, different size adapters for different lenses. And of course you could use step up, step down rings. And I've been testing the three stop circular polarizer. So it's a combination of an ND plus a circular polarizer cutting three stops of light and the six stop ND. Using the circular polarizer, you actually use the adapter ring to rotate the filter. Here's a look at the adapter ring taken off the front of the lens, and a little magnet sitting there, and the filter pops right into that location. It's pretty nifty, and as I said earlier, feels very secure. No worries about it falling out, even if you leave it in while you're hiking or walking. Don't worry about that at all. Now, with a Tamron 28 to 75, I'm just using a little step up adapter to make this 82 millimeter ring fit. Looking at the magnetic filter set, do you pay $12 for an adapter? The magnetic wheel costs 24. Circular polarizer three stop I'm using costs 219. And adding a six stop filter, 189. Total price, 444. To compare to the Nissi kit, you get the adapters plus the circular polarizer plus a holder for the square filters, all for $140. Adding a six stop ND, $160. Same price for a three stop ND, for a total of $460. Now, one downside to using this system is you can't stack filters. So, for instance, wanting to use circular polarizer to cut a little glare and an ND filter to cut a few stops of light. So they've done, Breakthrough Photography has done something fairly intelligent. They've combined filters into one. So I mentioned that I've been using the three-stop circular polarizer. So it is an ND plus the circular polarizer combined. They also offer a six-stop. Now, there is a way to stack filters. They offer an add clip-on system that allows you to slide in their square filters. So that gives you the option to use the graduated filters. And of course, if you wanted to throw on an ND instead of just buying a circular polarizer plus ND, you have that option as well. Now, one of the most important questions when you're throwing a filter onto your camera is how much does it impact image quality? You're buying an expensive camera and lens and you don't want the filters to detract from that at all. And I'm really happy to report that not only is quality excellent, I see no real degradation of image quality, but there's no color cast either. And that's something you really see with cheaper filters often, or even some more expensive filters that might be fairly popular, just have three letters. These are really clean, and I don't notice any difference in the colors. It's all good news. Now, the only downside is, well, you know, you've got to buy into these magnetic filter system and of course have their ring that it clips all in. And I did find turning circular polarizers to be a little awkward at times uh, using this ring right here. Sometimes a little sticky. Other times it moved very freely. I'm not quite sure why one or the other. It's also important to note that you can't use a lens hood when you're using the filter adapter. Uh, but that's really all that I can come up with as a negative. All in all, this is a very compact, smart system that I can happily recommend if you're looking for something to put on the end of your camera to cut a little bit of light or give yourself a circular polarizer. <laughs>